Hi everyone, it's Musical Drewby, and uh, I bought this the other day, the Behringer UMX 490, the U control. I'm just showing you a picture of it right here. Uh, I noticed something was wrong with it today, and uh, well, anyway, I, I had my my controller plugged into my Yamaha S90 XS, and I was playing it, and I noticed some of the notes were louder than they should be, so. Immediately I knew, well that sounds like a MIDI issue and a sensor, you know, the velocity sensor. And it's in this area right here, if you look in this area, uh, about F3, E3 area. Those are the keys. And those are really essential keys. Well, any key is essential to a musician. But just, you know, those keys, it's really ones that I use quite a bit. <laughs> so. Anyway, what I did was I've got a program called MIDI OX. Let me open it up here. And I'm going to test and see exactly what messages are being sent from my keyboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is the MIDI port's already open. The input. Uh, I do not want to monitor in hexadecimal because I want to see the numbers. The velocity is measured from 1 to 127. Uh, one is the softest as you can play, and 127 is the hardest or the loudest. Well, we'll just say the hard, hard as you can hit the key that is actually measurable on a keyboard is 127. Now, whether you have it sent to whatever function in your tone generator is different is a different story. So anyway, uh, also I want my display, my monitor font, I want it much larger so I can really see and show you guys. So I'm going to set it at about 24. This is a real neat program for just kind of diagnosing what's going on with your keyboard or just watching MIDI messages being sent. It's really fascinating. So I'm going to press a C key. So as we notice we have our timestamp over here and the timestamp just tells when I press the key from the point that the input was actually opened. It's almost like you work at an office and you clock in, you clock out, clock in, clock out. I clocked in at 85.711, hold it for a little while, clocked out at 89.273. Uh, this tells me my channel I'm operating on and this tells me basically note on or note off. Uh, data 1 is going to be the key that I'm actually pressing which is 36 which is also known as C2. Data 2 column is going to be the velocity at which I play the key and this just shows me my channel and this is the event note on. So the green is going to be note on, the light green, lime green and this uh, teal color is going to be note off. So uh, what I'm going to do to test is I'm going to play hard, soft, soft hard, soft, soft. So the hardest you can play, you can look down here, here are my new messages. 127 is hard. And I let go of it real quick, 105. You can let go of it, but I played very softly that time, 6, and I'm going to let go very softly too. I let go with a 1. So this is what a normal hard, soft, soft would look like, not doing it the hard as, as hard as I can because you don't want to damage your keyboard. If you play 127 all the time, your keys would be broken. So hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. So I actually got up to 114. I hit it pretty hard right there. My softs are registering about 70 to 60. Uh, up here I had 89 hard, 51, 34 soft, 97 hard, 45, 32 soft. It only goes, like I said, to 127. So I'm not going to hit as hard as I did there, but that was expected because I actually did hit it pretty hard. So I'm going to start at not C2, but I'm going to start at C3. So here we go. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. So 89, 28, 14, that's normal. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. I actually did hit pretty hard right there. Uh, everything else checking out. Let me check the sharps. Let's see, let me see your C sharp. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. Eh, it's pretty normal. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. Now let's get to E. This is going to be E3. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. It is easily peaking out at 127, and I know I did not hit the keyboard that hard. 
So that lets me know right now, even the softs are, are pretty high, higher than most of the other ones, kind of. So let's look at F. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. Now here it really is bad. 127, 95, 101. Semi hard is obviously how hard as you can hit. <laughs> and my softs are very soft. Let's do F sharp. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft, hard, soft. Even it's very easy to get to 127, uh, which is not good. We're talking like serious ceiling effect here. Uh, it's not measuring accurately. And uh, that's that's not good. Let's go to G. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft. Looks like G is pretty normal. So E, F, and G. I mean, excuse me, E, F, and F sharp are all giving me problems. Um, and that makes sense because they're in a block, they're in a cluster. So something's definitely wrong with my keyboard, and I'm going to have to send it back. But I'm glad I had this program here to kind of diagnose what's wrong because, you know, otherwise you would never know what the problem is. Is it a, is it a MIDI problem? Is it a tone generator problem? What's going on? Uh, so anyway, MIDI OX, MIDI OX, great program. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.